And that's the national and international news tonight. Good night. Good night. Have a good weekend. And now the headlines in the southeast. Good evening. A verdict of misadventure has been recorded on a three-week-old baby who died after being given the wrong injection. Dr. Tariq Massoud, who was working at King's College Hospital, admitted he didn't look at the label on the bottle before injecting Leon Finn with potassium chloride. He told the Southwark coroner he was tired and in a hurry. Fulham MP Nick Rainsford has warned there could be a holocaust in the Channel Tunnel if vital changes aren't made to the scheme. Mr Rainsford, a member of the Select Committee examining legislation for the fixed link, has produced his own minority report. In it, he claims that not enough attention is being given to safety questions, in particular the fire risk. Plans to tackle crime on London's underground were unveiled today. The government's to spend £15 million on more closed-circuit TV, a better radio network and brighter lighting. A special police task force is to concentrate on Oxford Circus and five stations on the southern section of the Northern Line, where violence and robbery are said to be most serious. The crackdown will start in the new year. The proposed National Jazz Centre in Covent Garden may now never open. Today in the High Court, the directors asked for the company to be wound up. It's been dogged by financial difficulties since the idea was first dreamed up by jazz enthusiasts in the late 60s. Armed robbers who held up a security van in Chelsea this morning are thought to have escaped with more than £100,000. The raid happened in Pont Street as the guards were delivering to a bank. And finally, 150 handicapped children met their sporting heroes at a special awards lunch today. Guest of honour was boxing star Frank Bruno, who signed autographs for his delighted fans. The event was laid on by police at Harlow in Essex. And that's all there is for now. We'll be back in breakfast time on Monday. Meanwhile, have a very nice weekend. Good evening to you. The main theme for tonight's weather over England and Wales is definitely fog. A lot of it over many parts of the country. Further north, Scotland and Northern Ireland, well, probably too much wind for any major fog problems. Today's top spots, though, reasonably mild over many parts of the country, but Ventnor in the Isle of Wight reached 13 degrees, and Swanage was the sunniest place with 7.4 hours of uh, lovely sunshine. Now, on the Atlantic chart, a great big fat area of high pressure covering much of Europe there. Lots of fog, though, associated with that over the past few nights, and now we're getting a feed of it. Some fairly mild southwesterly winds still affecting northern parts of Britain, but this front has made some progress into northwestern Scotland through this evening and it's given some fairly heavy bursts of rain. It's going to come a little bit further south into southern Scotland and then decide to go back northwards again as this little disturbance runs along it. And by the end of tomorrow, we should find the fronts in that sort of position. This one weakening all the time, this one taking over for Sunday, but at the same time, that one will weaken as it comes down into northern parts of England. If you're going away at the weekend, let's take a look and see what's happening. Well, over Britain and uh, Scandinavia, northern Britain anyway, generally in the same boat. Fairly mild weather for this time of the year with a little bit of rain from time to time, but rather windy in many places too. Over much of Europe, central Europe, widespread fog at night, a lot of frost as well, and that fog only clearing slowly through the day, but some hazy sunshine coming through once it's gone away. Over the Mediterranean, generally a lot of sunshine around, just one or two showers in the western med, rather more showery over Turkey and Greece there. But the warmest place, once again, down in the Canaries, 22 degrees being 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Certainly not 22 tonight. Too much uh, fog and frost around for any high temperatures. Some uh, fairly dense fog already turning up in many central parts of England and over in East Anglia. And we're going to find that fog getting more widespread as we go through the night. Many places seeing fog visibilities down below about 50 yards. A little bit of rain across Northern Ireland and Southern Scotland there with clearer weather up to the north. But uh, fairly mild in the north, at least in central parts seven or eight degrees there. Further north still, up in uh, northern Scotland, a little bit chillier than it's been recently, but uh, many parts of England seeing a touch of frost tonight. So tomorrow morning at dawn, a very grey start, sunshine very difficult to find, but there's probably going to be some in the west country and there'll be some in the north of Scotland too. This fog gradually thinning out as we go through the morning, but it's never really going to clear from all parts. Some places lingering right through the afternoon and there it's going to feel pretty chilly indeed. But for the bulk of the country, it will be uh, rather hazy sunshine to come along through the afternoon. The rain in Northern Ireland and Western Scotland gradually moving north again. Temperatures fairly mild in the north, but still pretty chilly in the southeast with that fog. And that's it. On BBC Two in a couple of minutes, Arena evokes the life and spirit of Federica Garcia Lorca, perhaps the best known and most loved Spanish poet and dramatist of this century.
Tomorrow, from the stage of the Theatre Royal Drury Lane, the Royal Variety Performance. A celebration of 50 years of television by a host of stars from the world of entertainment. glittering occasion and a chance to spot the stars in the Royal Variety performance tomorrow starting at 7.15 on BBC One. And you're going to remember some of these moments now, not all of them of course, because we're going back as far as 1912 to the first of the Royal Command performances to recall some of those shows from the past. <laughs> 